Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Shovel Knight in the last episode. We took on Plague Knight and cleared the Explodatorium. Now you may realize that there's a bit of an inconsistency here. This wanderer that was here is no longer there. Yeah, I kind of tried recording Treasure Knight stage and missed out. Actually, I, attempt, I beat this person here, so I'm going to have to beat them in a separate video. But yeah, we're going to go straight to Treasure Knight stage. Here we go. There we go, yes. Okay, quick thing I might need to mention. Um, we are now cooking with gas. Like, we are on... We are on a new PC, and everything is running smooth. We're just hoping to, uh... Hoping this is gonna be a lot better. Uh, for the quality of the videos. Because, you know, I have a new PC. I've got new hardware. So, yeah. Ooh, okay. Shoot that up there. Okay. So, this stage is interesting. There's a lot of... It's mainly underwater. And these sort of, like, crab things play a big role in uh, like a lot of the stage because you can just hit them and they work as a projectile. But I got something on Twitter. I just got a, a like on a tweet that I posted before recording about a future Let's Play. And um, I'm I'm realizing this now, right? I it's like today I edited um, a, episode ten of Metro Fusion, which you know I, I did record it a long time ago, but and I actually didn't realize how long it, like I realized it was long like long ago, but I didn't another Twitter thing, but I didn't realize how long ago it was until I started editing. Actually, no. Um, not even until I started editing, until I, um, like, watched it back after I just finished editing it. I talk about David Bowie's death in that episode, and I mentioned that it was today, like, that day that it was announced that he died. So I made a video, the day David Bowie died, and I've only just edited it. Yeah. And if you don't know, that was quite a while ago. Anyway. Yeah, some people may know that, uh... What, uh, LP I was talking about when, uh... Like, when, like, what... What I'm getting tweets about. Basically, for those who do not know, uh, I tweeted out a picture of a thumbnail that I made prior to this episode for uh, Hat in Time, which is a game I'm so, so hyped for. Um, yeah, I'm really hyped for Hat in Time. And because of it, I made a thumbnail, because I am going to do a day one Let's Play of it, hopefully. <laughs> and, um, and it, I tweeted it out to um, people who are working for Hat in Time, like I, t I tweeted to the official Twitter page for the game, I tweeted it out to um, like the 3D art designer and stuff, it's, it's, it's funny, he, he, um, he's like really nice. Like, he actually talks to the people he, um, tweet, like, he tweets at him. And it's just really cool. I've never really known many people to do that who are part, like, in such a position as he. But yeah, I tweeted to other members of staff as well. Or any other member of staff, I don't know. I can't remember what role this member of staff has, but... Even so tweeted it out to them. They like it. They like the thumbnail I made. It's all good. Uh, 
that's gonna be an apple. Okay? I haven't talked much about the game yet. <laughs> like, this episode. Alright. Ah! Uh, no! 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 Crud! Crud baskets, man. Here, get that tentacle out the way. And now I'm having them tweet at me. Huh. Like, uh, um, any of you can see these tweets, they're all public, but I just had, um, one of that, one of the other staff members just tweet out saying that it was good work, and I'm actually kind of happy with that. I'm, I'm glad that people prove. Okay, this thing. This next part is annoying, because that's a thing. I just had Dan message me in the middle of a recording. Thanks, Dan, if you're watching. I know he'll watch. He likes the series. Oh. Oh. Alright. Okay, let's just... Oh, oh okay. Yeah, you kind of got to, um, ah, Dan keeps messaging me. <laughs> nah, I, I'm, I'm okay to just, like, stop what I'm doing to message him, it's fine, but, yeah. Like, because this can all be, it can all be cut out, like, from the video, so, yeah, it's all good. It's all Gucci. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> I need to stop saying that things are all Gucci. go. And it is defeated. And we get Chester who's underwater. Eel's alive. I haven't had a ride like that in ages. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Wanna see? Uh, yeah. The throwing anchor. Let's get it. Throwing anchor is actually a pretty good item. Not gonna lie. For instance. Oh, I missed. And I missed again. Now. No, missed. Okay. Yeah. Now. I'm terrible. Now. Yeah, there we go. Now, I normally, like, one hit kills a lot of enemies. Because of how strong the actual item is. Drop down here. And the throwing anchor is such a good weapon to use against this enemy. Right here. Wait. There we go. Alright, let's just open this chest. See what we get. A music note? Okay. Music sheet. I can't. I keep saying music note. It's a music sheet. Anyway, jump from here. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Uh, defeat that. Jump down here. What voice I went into, but it is a voice I am using. I'm gonna stop doing that now. <laughs> and I accidentally set off the platform. Oops. I am terrible at this game. <laughs> if it isn't clear at this point, I am terrible. Wait for this to go past. Uh, that's the thing. Do I have the music no, the music sheet even? I don't know because it, uh, it doesn't tell me either. Unless I can, you know. Okay, yeah, I've got, I got it. It's fine. For those who want to know how to check, 
you just go to your Wii U, well, if you're using a Wii U like I am, you go to the gamepad and click on gear, I think. Yeah, you click on gear, and then you can click on a music sheet uh, icon, and that tells you how many you need to return. And if you haven't, you know, because I haven't, I've got nothing to return until that one that I just picked up. Okay, there we go. More timed, well, not timed, but timing sections. Ah. Timing is just ooh, but I, I need I have something to talk about. Shovel Knight, like level design. The level design is tremendous because, okay, for instance, no matter where you fall, you're most likely gonna land on something. You know, it, it obviously. It, look, see, I fell there, and I fell onto a safe spot. But most of the time, if you fall, like the game either knows you're going to be falling with momentum, so it'll put you on a platform, or you're just going to fall and you're going to land on a platform. Like that, I fell, didn't land on a platform, however. Kind of <laughs> contradicting my own statement there. But no, most levels, they do have that... Um, that uh, design where you, you know, no matter where you fall, you're gonna land on something safe. And I just feel that's a really, you know, cool thing to do. Like, you know, that can be used to, you know, set gamers back in the level and whatnot. But it's also used to, you know, not, <laughs> not so harshly. Ugh, I can't phrase it right. It's then also used to, like, <laughs> to put back the gamer, but not so harshly. Because, you know, it's a tiny mistake. Everyone makes tiny mistakes. Just like that. Oh, okay. I landed. Right. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. And I can't even... Alright, I can't even, like, land something. Ow. I just need something. Alright. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I did it. Whew. This guy uses throwing anchors. We can use them on him. I think he takes three? Or more. Okay, more. Four? Five? Five. Okay. It takes five. More timing. We've got a time where to shoot the uh, platform. No. Okay. Oh god, this bit. I remember this bit. This bit's quite infamous because of these. Because of those anchors, you gotta remember something that I never remembered when I was playing the game Crud Baskets. You gotta remember that the anchors drop before you can get on them, and the anchors also hurt. It's just another, you know, side note. Anyway, just use this throwing anchor to get rid of. That. Okay. Drop. Now you can use the. Actually, no. There's no point in even using that anchor. You just gotta wait and use these ones. And if you go top, follow the bubbles, and go this way, you get a treasure chest. Yay! Just kind of snipe this guy with 
its own weapon. Really. And you get a crud ton of loot. Oh my god, man. Now, you don't have to defeat that guy, just go down here. Command getting the health. Ugh. Right, let's just hit the shell. The only way the uh, silver ones can go into their shells is by hitting it with another shell, like a normal one. Just to let you guys know that. Alright. Oh, this bit. This bit is fun because you have to perfectly time everything. This bit is infamous. Oh, and we're back here for fun. I'll cut back to where we were. Okay, we're back. And one thing I recommend is staying on the very edge and trying your best to stay towards that edge. <sighs> I actually hate myself right now. Okay, and we're back again. All right. You just gotta hit the things and jump there. Finally did it. And there you go. Checkpoint, and now the boss. My gems. My vessel. My ocean. Your very presence tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows your greed knows no bounds, Treasure Knight. Your hands are no legs dirty. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avar av avarice? Avarice? I don't know. Let us duel. Winner take all. Sorry if you guys heard that, or I'm, and also sorry for that delay, because um, an alarm just went off. I need to finish this and then start getting ready to go see my girlfriend, but eh, that's okay. I can do it. Trojan Knight is... he's not that hard, it's just kind of annoying. And unpredictable. Which... Yeah, it's just And if I die, I swear to everything that is holy and sacred in the world. Well, looks like I'm starting to have everything holy and sacred in the world. I'm not even religious. Anyway, let us go in. <sighs> okay. Yeah, uh, Treasure Knight is just... He's just unpredictable, really. And some of his moves are hard to dodge and whatnot, but... Eh. And we have defeated him! There we go.
And there we go. Treasure Knight has been defeated, we have cleared the Iron Whale, and next episode, we're going to be taking on Mole Knight in the Lost City. Maybe doing the Knuckler's Quarry, and we'll take a, a quick visit to the Armor Outpost. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.